Hello, all you beautiful people out there. I am Mrs. Realistic. Welcome back to the channel. You guys, where has Samson been for so long? I have been waiting for some new Samson because he always makes me laugh, makes me think, makes me nod my head in agreement. And there are two new ones that I have not checked out yet, and I am excited. This is called Price Hike. I'm pretty sure we know where he's going to go with this, probably about inflation. And he's going to dog on some politicians, namely the headpiece in power at the current time. It is now September 21st, 2023. I'm sure he's spot on. So without further ado, let's get into this. We are growing the economy from the middle out and the bottom up, lowering costs for hardworking families and making smart investments in America. That's Bidenomics. Joe Biden. Oh, yeah. But the economy is just growing. It's just thriving for all us little people out here. Boy, I've never paid less. I made a little money off a of rap, but not enough to make me rich, yet I'm still backpacking. I made a little money off a of rap, but not enough to make me rich. I'm in the same tax bracket. I made a little money off a of rap, but not enough to make me rich. I mean it too. I just say that to say that I'm still down here in the real world, feeling everything with you, and I'm fucking pissed. I got a big bone to pick with all these motherfucking activists, all these rappers and actors and notable figures that act like they know how bad this shit is. I love being lectured and ridiculed about the fact that I don't have an electric vehicle tweeting about climate change from your private plane while i pay a norman leg to get some fuel thank god my car doesn't take premium i'd have to get a second job just to break even then they crank that is something i literally was just talking to my husband about last night how these celebrities are so out of touch and yet they are like preaching to us about what we should do and how we should live and Yet they all take their private jets to Davos to talk about how they are going to change the world. Well, I think they better start flying coach commercial and, uh, you know, get down, get down to our level so they can really understand. None of them have any idea that groceries are more. None of them have any idea that gas is more because they don't buy their own groceries. They don't probably even drive their own cars. And if they do drive their own cars, guaranteed, they're not even looking at the price of gas. So, um... I'm in agreement with you, Samson. I am sick of celebrities and actors and all of these people who have zero idea of what it takes to run a household, work a regular job, and pay bills and feed children at home. Thank you for calling it out, Samson. Fuel. Thank God my car doesn't take premium. I'd have to get a second job just to break even. Then they cranked it up three dollars and brought it down two. And I'm supposed to be happy and act like I'm proud of you. <laughs> and to add the injury, I got Kamala telling me I need to go electric and I have to act quick. And all it's gonna cost me is fifty thousand dollars. Well, guess what? I don't have that bitch. And even if I did, I would buy a big truck just to rub it in your face because I don't give a fuck. I would put a big smokestack on the top of it and blow black smoke every time I open throttle it. And it's not because I hate the climate. It's because I don't trust you or the things you wish me to do i would cut the floor out of the bottom of my car and start running like the flintstones before i listen to you i would too and i think it's funny because um you know they're all pushing these electric vehicles which not only are not uh doable for most people they're too expensive and even if they have lowered the price most people can't just go out and buy a new car and uh look what happened in california they were having uh, power outages and people couldn't charge their electric vehicles and then you see the fires and they uh, the batteries are on fire and they can't put them out and it takes them hours and hours and these people's cars are burning in their garages and burning their entire houses down not to mention the environmental impact that the mining that we need for the things like cobalt for these batteries has on places like the congo and uh, you know the child laborers it's worse for the environment because you're leaving it a wasteland afterwards and there's no regulation regulations over there. There aren't good recycling programs for the batteries. There aren't good recycling programs for wind turbines. So until that technology ramps up as well, I don't see how they can continue to push this on average people. I can't afford a car payment. Our vehicles are paid for, thank goodness.
I would cut the floor out of the bottom of my car and start running like the Flintstones before I listen to you. I hate when people tell me they would rather not talk about it because they don't like to get political. I cannot afford supply shortages and high mortgages. It's not politics. All this shit is literal. That's money draining out of your bank account to make it work. To the point that it breaks you down and makes you hurt. Paying insane amounts taken out of your savings and promised that they were going to save you. How? They made it worse. We should be a flourishing nation, not a country with soaring inflation. There's nothing more infuriating than the fact that nobody takes blame for this poor demonstration. Like, what? It just happened like that? Nothing to do with your administration. You blamed it on Putin and called it his price hike, but shit was going up way before the invasion. Now, how does that work? True. Really, I'm baffled. Sick of being treated like a stupid blind asshole. Next thing I know, I'm going to turn on CNN and they'll be trying to tell everybody that Putin time traveled. Wouldn't put it past them. Crooked little rats, so weaselly and spineless, always looking for a snack. Searching for the next reputation to tear apart and trash When the views that you have and theirs aren't exact They feed you bullshit and expect you to eat it Then they read you bullshit and expect you to believe it Like everything that you witness isn't for certain or real And you're just supposed to forget all your personal experiences Like all the money that you spent, you still have the shit You didn't really spend any of it, you just imagined it All the cash that you wasted on behalf of this inflation didn't happen It's just a figment of your imagination and it's all gone Yeah, no, uh uh, our gas isn't more expensive. Our groceries aren't twice what they used to be a couple years ago. It's just all in my imagination. Because as Joy Behar said, the economy is thriving. Jobs are like just a dime a dozen. When you shut down people's businesses and people lose their jobs, and then you open up those businesses again and people get to go back to work, that's not adding more jobs. That's just people going back to the same job they had. And that's their argument, like the mental gymnastics that it takes to make sense of half of what they lie about straight to our faces. <sighs> you heard him. He knows how to say it better than I do. And it rhymes. So these were the two requests that I got, price hike, and I'm assuming the to be continued is sincerely a taxpayer. Oh, I'm looking forward to that one too. So keep your eye out for that. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, Samson, for always telling it like it is. Have a wonderful day. And as I always say, we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.